Hi, my name is Stephanie Sheets with The Digital Story. Well, if you're like me, you probably have a lot of boxes that are just laying around the house, things that you might have you know, received uh, jewelry in or something, and they're just accumulating, doing nothing. Well, why not take these boxes and actually customize it with your own photographs? Today, I'm going to share with you how you can take old boxes and by simply mounting photographs on map board and adhering them to the box, you can customize it into your own beautiful gift box. Before I show you how to customize your box, I'm going to discuss the photography you might want to use on your box. When you're taking pictures, you can always take pictures of people and animals and flowers, scenic shots like that, but you might want to think a little bit differently, especially for this project. Recently I went on a trip to the Getty Villa in Malibu and I was completely inspired by what I saw. Of course the building is beautiful and, and it was kind of fun to do some people shooting, but as I was walking around the building I was mesmerized by the patterns that I saw everywhere. And so I was t doing more photography relating to that. You know, here's a shot that I did uh, on the exterior of the villa which was beautiful, but here's an example of the floor, a beautiful mosaic pattern on the floor that had had um, wonderful marbles from all over the world. And then I, here's a shot that I actually, I looked up and it was the ceiling um, in the villa. And I thought this would be beautiful. I was already thinking about the box project. I'm like, this would be wonderful for the exterior of a box. And then this is another example. This is some ancient writing that was on the side of a stone. And again, the repeated pattern and, and just the different look and the color of it, I thought, perfect for a box exterior. But of course, you know, if you want to shoot figures, you can as well. This is actually a Kuros figure from the Getty that I thought was very fascinating and would be perfect on the outside of a nice long maybe watch box or something. So I shot that one specifically for that. As I mentioned, you probably have a lot of old gift boxes laying around the house. And I have this long jewelry box that I thought would be wonderful to repurpose into a beautiful customized gift box. So with that in mind, I, re I thought, okay, I need a nice long linear image. And that's when I picked out my Kuros figure. I printed him out. It's nice and long and perfect for covering my box. Before I cover it, however, I need to mount a the section onto a piece of map board. In order to mount it on there, I'm going to position it over my figure and then I'm going to trim this down about a half an inch around my map board and then adhere it and cut it down a little more. Trim my Kuros picture down and I'm ready to attach it to the map board. I want to use a nice coat of glue stick all over my map board and then I'm going to position it on the back of my picture, press firmly, trim down the edges, and then I'm ready for the next step. Now it's ready to mount to the top of my box. I want to put some adhesive, whether it's tape or heavy duty glue, on my box lid. And then I'm going to position this in the center of my map board and press firmly to secure it in place. Just like that. Ready to go. Same thing will be done with the bottom. Instead of having a picture here because most of it's going to be covered up, I'm just going to, I just mounted regular colored copy paper on there. And same thing with the adhesives. A little bit of tape as well as just a nice bit of glue there to make sure it's secure. Position it. Press firmly and it's done. The lid fits over the box and there you go. If you don't care for the color of the box, you can easily cover it using a ribbon or something else like that. I showed you earlier this box and that's what I did on my sides. I actually covered it with a little bit of ribbon.